personal finance practice problem using Excel. Business with franchise fees break even point. Prepare to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you have access to the Excel worksheet, would like to follow along. Note that we're down here in the practice tab as opposed to the example tab. The example tab in essence being an answer key. Information is on the left hand side. We're going to populate that into the blue area on the right hand side. Information says we have a franchise type of business where we have to be paying 750 in order to get into the business and then we're going to be earning commission on the sales of 30 percent we're also going to assume that the sales price for the units of things that we sell are 100 dollars now note that this last piece can be a little bit confusing because it'll depend on the type of business you are in because some types of businesses you might sell a wide variety of things that have a variety of prices but in other types of business, you might sell a particular thing at a particular price. But no matter what the, what the scenario is, it could often be useful to try to see what the things you are most likely to sell, what you think your sales mix will be, and then focus in on those on the sales side most likely, and also then think about your break-even point with regards to the unit price of those units. And so that's a common type of thing we would do in this kind of sales or business kind of strategy for this kind of managerial accounting type of stuff. So we would then say that we have the franchise fee. Franchise fee is going to be then uh, 750. And then if we get a commission of 30%, I'm gonna pick up the sales commission of 30%, making that a percent by going to the number group, percentifying it, underlining it, font group and underline. That's gonna give us our sales. I'll call it the sales break even point. And we're going to be saying this is equal to the 750 divided by that 30%. That gives us then the 2,500. So we'd have to sell stuff in sales revenue of 2,500 because 30% of 2,500, then just to check that out, if we take that 2,500 times 30%, of course, we'd get to the 750, the break even paying for the franchise fee that we would need. Now, it's useful oftentimes to not think about it to also think about it in terms of units sales. The, again, this could be a little bit difficult when you sell a bunch of different things, but you might want to try to get your unit mix that you that you think and at least kind of get an average of how much stuff, how many actual units you would need to sell. So we're going to say that the unit price is $100. So then we would have to say then that's going to be $100 on the unit price. Underlining that font group and underline, that's going to give us our, I'm going to call it the unit break even point which will be equal to the 2500 divided by 100 that's going to give us the 25 units that we would need to sell now this break even type of analysis if you go into like managerial accounting uh, will be, will be broken out a little bit differently so just let's take a look at that this could be useful possibly in a franchise type of business it can also be useful anytime you're selling just stuff that like you know a hot dog stand or something like that where you're trying to figure out how many things you have to sell one to break even and then you just take that a step further to think about how many things you would need to sell in order to make a profit and even even if this like kind of this type of scenario the next step of course to see how much money you can make if you wanted to make say five thousand dollars before we get into the more more official break even point if you wanted to say you want to earn five thousand dollars you could just modify this calculation to say this is now going to be equal to the franchise fee plus uh, the profit that you're seeking that you want to get profit and that's going to be equal to then the 750 plus the 5000 i'll just type in 5000 profit that we're seeking and then if we divide that by the commission we get to the similar calculation the commission being 30 percent percentifying that cell by going to the number group percentify font group and underline that's going to give us our sales amount for the, to reach that point that's going to be then the 5750 divided by the 30 percent that'll give us the 19,167 that we would need to sell because 30 percent of that then would be the 5750 and we know that the 750 we had to pay out for the franchise fees so the 5000 then would be profit on that amount so then if we take that in terms of units we could say unit sales price 
is going to be $100 on the unit sales price, underlining that font group and underline, and that'll give us our unit uh, break even point, which is going to be equal to the 19167 divided by 100 and about 192 units. Now, how we would typically often think about this in terms of managerial accounting, we'll just we'll just adjust the calculation a little bit, and then we'll put in the costs a little bit differently, uh, so that we have a cost per unit, which is often the case, possibly not in the franchise business, but in in other types of business where we're selling things like a hot dog stand or anything where it costs us stuff in order to get the units, right? So we're gonna say, all right, let's let's say that we we have our break even type of point analysis. Often useful to say we want the fixed cost, fixed cost. And the fixed cost would be the thing usually like the rent. So if it was a hot dog stand that we're making, the fixed cost is the rent for the hot dog stand versus variable costs, which are going to change with the units of stuff that we're making. So in this case, we have a fixed cost of the franchise fee. It is what it is. We have to pay it. That's kind of like the rent on the hot dog stand. So I'd say the fixed cost is going to be that 750. And then I'm going to indent that alignment and indent. And then we have the unit... We call this the contribution margin. Now, the contribution margin is going to be the, the uh, revenue per unit, and then we subtract out the costs per unit. Now, in this case, we don't have any costs per unit because that's, that's going to be taken care of, we assume, by the company, right? We're just paying, that's what the 750 is kind of going towards. And so we're just getting the, the revenue, and we could try to break out then the revenue on a per unit basis. So if I say, all right, the revenue, the revenue to us per unit, to us per unit is going to be 30% of that $100 because we're saying we sell these things and we're, we could estimate this if we sell a bunch of different things and try to figure out what, the co what we're going to get in terms of revenue per unit sales, which is going to be then the 100 times the 30 percent so we're going to be getting 30 dollars and then if there were any variable costs variable cost per unit we break out the variable cost if it was a hot dog stand or something like that that would be the cost of the meat generally and the buns and whatnot but for us that's going to be zero so there is no variable cost we're going to say font group and underline and that's going to give us what we would typically call the unit contribution margin and we'll put that into the outside this is going to be then the 30 minus the zero and there we have it let's do some indentation selecting these three cells alignment indent and this one we're going to say alignment and indent again let's put an underline here font group and underline so this is often useful because then we can break out basically like the things that are that are fixed like the rent versus the variable costs and the variable sales that we're making the contribution margin and we can then see how many things we need to sell in order to hit the break even point so we'd have the unit uh, break even point so usually in in managerial accounting we calculate the unit break even point this way 750 divided by 30 that would give us the 25 and then if I wanted to get the sales in dollars, how much we would need to sell, we would have to then say that the sales times the units, this is one way we can do it, would be the $100. Underlining that by going to the font group and underline, that would give us our sales break even point, point which is going to be equal to the 25 times the $100. Now, of course, the trick on this again is the fact that if you sell different things, then you're going to have to, you can estimate it or figure out some way in terms of how much you're going to have for the price. What are you going to be using then for the price? And then you have, uh, if there are any costs, you have the similar thing on the cost side of things. Obviously, again, you could look at it this way and, uh, and then figure out your profit in a similar calculation which means you would then have your fixed costs plus your profit and do a similar calculation as we did basically here. So let's try to do it again. Let's just add a cost down here just so we could see how this would look if you had a cost. And again, this would be similar to something like a hot dog stand or something like that. 
where you're possibly producing the types of things so that you have a cost per unit and then you have like a fixed a fixed cost which could be the franchise fee or it could be something like rent on the stand or wherever you're doing the business a concert or something like that that you're doing business at so now let's let's break that one out so we'll say all right in that case same calculation we'd say we have the fixed the fixed cost fixed costs costs and we're going to say that's just going to be the franchise fees again on the fixed side of things putting that in the outside that's going to be the 750 i'll indent that alignment and indent and then we're going to we're going to say that we have the unit contribution margin which is going to be the things that change so the revenue is going to change per unit of course because we're getting paid per unit we sell and any costs that change per unit which if it was a hot dog stand would be like the hot dog in the bun and whatnot versus the rent of the hot dog stand, which doesn't change no matter how many units we sell. That's the key point. So we're going to be saying, all right, then that's going to give us the revenue, the revenue to us per unit, which is going to be equal to the seven or the $100 times the 30% or $30. And then we've got the variable costs variable costs per unit these are costs that are going to change so we're going to say they give us 30 percent commission in this case but then they also charge us ten dollars you know per unit we're going to say which is a little bit strange for a franchise type of business but we'll tie it in and it'll be similar to any kind of business where you have to make things put in unit costs and try to break down the things that you are making like the hamburger or whatnot on a unit basis uh, on a unit basis because it'll change with the sales so we're going to say this is going to be then the 10 and we'll put an underline that's going to give us our unit contribution margin on the outside equal to the 30 minus the 10 or the 20 and so let's put an underline there by going to the font group and underline that's going to give us our unit break even unit break even point which what well, i knew i forgot my t there's a t which is going to be equal to the 750 divided by the 20 so we have 38 units and then we can multiply that let's do some indentations here while we're at it i'll select these three we're going to go to the alignment indent picking up this one alignment indent again and then we're going to say this is the unit sales price the unit sales price we said was the 100 so the unit so what we would have to sell then in terms of sales break even point would have to be equal to the 38 times the 100 or the 3750 let's put an underline here font group and underline and then one more we can then say well what if we wanted a profit of the 30,000 in our little business here then we could do a similar type of calculation which would be the the fixed costs plus the profit that we're looking for fixed cost plus profit so we'd say the fixed costs are going to be the franchise fees again that's going to be the 750 and then we want a profit of this 30,000 we said 30,000 on the profit so the fixed costs plus profit on the outer column is going to be equal to the sum sum of the 30 and the 750 underlining that we're going to go font group and underline we'll do some indentations here alignment and indent once again alignment and indent and so there so there we have the fixed cost and then we're going to say that we have the unit contribution margin which is going to be equal to the the uh, sales price to us i'm going to say this equals the sales revenue per unit to us which was the $100 times the 30%. And then let's copy the same thing we had up here, which is the variable cost per unit, 
which is going to be equal to 10. And that's going to give us our contribution margin per unit. And we'll put that into the outer column. And I'm missing some blue space. Let's put some blue space down here. Blue space. And then we're going to say this is going to be equal to the, uh, the 30 minus the 10 for the 20 underline in that font group underline. Let's do some indentations, selecting these three cells and say alignment indent. We'll indent this one again, alignment indent. So there we have that. And then we're going to say that's going to be our, our uh, unit break even. So this is going to be the unit, uh, the unit profit point. How many units we're going to need to sell, which is going to be equal to the 30,750 divided by the 20 now, which is 1,538 units. And then if we say that the sales price per unit is going to be $100, $100, let's put an underline there, font group and underline, that would mean that we would have the sales amount needed, which would be equal to the, the 1538 times 100 or the 153,750. We've got to have a, quite a bit of sales. So we're going to say font group and underline. Let's get rid of these last couple blue items. And so there we have it. So the basic idea is that I, th this is pretty good for the franchise, but any kind of business is kind of break even analysis uh, is good if you're making things because then you can think about, you know, how many units you need to sell. And it's useful to do that by breaking out the fixed costs and the variable costs, costs in essence by behavior rather than by just category of costs.